Hello again. In this video, you'll see how to test measurement signals communicated to SCADA using Station Scout. First of all, let me explain the setup we are going to use. We have a CMC test set wired to an IED to inject analog measurement values. The measurement values received by IED are represented in the data model of IED. We will check if the values injected are matching with the ones in the data model. We can also check different destinations the signals are communicated to, such as gateway, local HMI, or another test client like ID Scout. Please note that the values injected by test set may differ slightly with the values read from IED. For that, we have 5% margin to make it easier assessing the result. Alright, let's proceed to test now. Now I want to perform a point to point testing demonstration with Station Scout. So here I have a small system that we will inject some values with CMC and observe these values. And also we will also change some positions and we will observe this in Station Scout that we create a test case out of that. So here I have an IED and I will create a test case for metering values. So I click on the IED, now I click on the test case button. As I want to test the signaling to the SCADA and observe the values, I will now select observe values. I'll give a name as metering voltages. And now I need to add signals. So for adding signals, I expanded the measurement tab of the IED. And now I will select some voltages from the RMS values. I'll select phase to neutral voltages for three phases. And in the test steps tab, I have the numeric signals only. And in the execution tab, I don't have any options to select. Then I can click on finish setup. Now my test setup is ready and I will enhance this test setup with adding some additional test steps for observing the values in the change of the data model of the IED. So in the next test step, I will inject 10 kilovolts. I press the set expected button here to make Station Scout to record this value. And again, I will inject some 100 kilovolts and set expected values again. So this I can continue for the other phases or also add some additional test steps. So this is enough for phase E. Now we can continue with phase B maybe. But just one test step would be enough to give you an idea how to create this test case for point-to-point -point testing by injecting some values with CMC. Okay, so looks like we have a test plan now and we can start our test by clicking on the executing test case button and on my other side of my monitor I will inject some values from CMC it doesn't matter that I use a quick CMC module or a sophisticated module it's not that much needed that I want to test the signaling so I click on execute test case so now I'm not injecting any values so it's okay that I see also zero kilovolts and I click past for that and now I have to inject 10 kilovolts via CMC here. And it's injected from phase A. And I click start. So you will not get the same exit, the same value as you inject. And Station Scott has a margin of 5% here. And if you are in the margin, then it will be highlighted by green. So we are in the margin. And this tolerance gives us an past assessment so I click on past because I see in the data model 9.999 kilovolts that's okay now here comes for 100 kilovolts click on 100 and we are still in the margin that it means that this test case is evaluated a as green so I click on pass now in this step I will make a failed condition demonstration. For that, I will inject some 44 kilovolts. 
and as you see that it's red here so as soon as I will inject a value within the 5% tolerance that it will turn into red okay so but the real value that's expected to be seen by the IED is 50 kilovolts so that's okay for me and this can go on for the phase B so I'm not injecting anything from phase B and the next step I will also inject 100 kilovolts from phase B so that was the demonstration for metering tests when you go to the field for testing point-to-point -point testing for the signals